financial collapse on Wall Street. People have been astounded in trying to answer the question of how could it be that Bernie Madoff was scamming thousands of innocent Americans into giving up their life savings. Where were the regulators? Where were the agencies? Where were they when speculators were wrecking havoc on the oil markets? I can think of no sector where honesty, independence, and transparency are needed more right now than in our financial and commodity markets. Yet the regulators of these markets have been allowed to work with no oversight of what they are doing and whether they are fulfilling their mission to protect the American consumer. That's because the Inspector General, as the Chairman outlined, who should be working on behalf of average Americans, were working for the heads of the agencies they should be overseeing. As I said earlier, this is a classic case of the fox watching the hen house, and it's having a profound impact on the work of our regulatory agencies. We have done a review, and this is something that we pointed out at the committee. The review found that offices of the Inspector General, that independent offices, where they are appointed by the President and approved by the Senate, completed over 117 investigations in 2008, while their non-independent counterparts completed just 12. That's 117 versus 12. The Inspector General of the Commodity Futures and Trading Commission released information showing that despite the recent economic crisis and the turbulence in the oil market, his office completed just two investigations and updated one from October of last year through March. Simply stated, an independent watchdog ensures better performance from government agency. I commend the committee because what they've done is provide greater accountability and transparency.